Now, Deacon, how you going to invite Sheila to come to your grand opening when you trying to be on the hush hush and you don't invite a hope? Hope don't sit up here. Then nobody tell her to invite Steffi and Finn. Now, regardless, it would have been spread around town anyway that she was at the uh, grand opening because Brooke and Hope was coming. So they would have spread word to Steffi and Finn anyways. But now that they finna get ready to come, I said, this must be how, you know, they've been talking about coming up with a plan to get Sheila out of Bill's life and get out, get Sheila out of their life. So I said, maybe this is what it is. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life of Chester. This is for the Bold and Beautiful, February 27, 2023. Okay, so Deacon done tested Sheila to come to his place. It's important. I said, you better not go. I said, you better not go. You better not go. And she gonna go. <laughs> she gonna go. Now, why? Look, she just, he already knew that she just said those things to, uh, not to hurt him, to, uh, you know, get him to stop and all that stuff. But still, you study coming, you ain't got to go just because he said go. Now, what if Bill, I thought about it, and I don't think I put this in the notes. But you know how Bill was watching Steffi and Finn in the office and he had a camera? I said, now, what if he watching Sheila? come in and out and Deacon come in or he following her or whatever the case may be because at first he was putting off work to be around Sheila and all that stuff but now he back at work so I'm like okay maybe apply to his coming but yeah Deacon don't taste the Sheila to come to his place somebody it's important I said it ain't important you just want to invite her to the grand opening because I, I already had seen or read the spoiler that he gonna invite her to the grand opening but um, Sheila starts to think about her conversation with Deacon and what she told him about he a loser and he going to ruin everything for her and all that stuff. They show Steffi and Finn, they in the office talking, and Steffi's talking about basically she's worried, you know, about Sheila being in their life and everything she's done and caused. I said, Sheila been distracted with her two men. I said, she been distracted. She over here telling Bill that she she been thinking about her son and her grandson and stuff, but in reality, she's been distracted. <laughs> she's juggling these two men. She ain't got time to be worried about y'all right now. <laughs> I said, she ain't got time. She trying to look, play cool in front of Bill, but sneaking creep over here with Deacon <laughs> but um Hope goes to the restaurant to see Deacon talking about she giving Deacon a heads up that Brooke her mom went out on a date with uh Hollis I said he already know girl and I look and she just telling everybody she ended up telling Steffi and Finn too um cause Steffi was like are you hoping that um, Deacon and your mom get back together she, and she was like yeah I was I floated the idea around and I said look she ain't ashamed to say it no more now you talked all that noise about them uh, trying to get their parents back together but you trying to do the same thing but yeah um, Hope goes to see Deacon talking to, tell, and told him about um, Brooke went out on a date with Hollis and he already know he told her and she basically asked him how he felt and I said man Brooke don't want your daddy and your daddy don't want her he wants Sheila <laughs> he tells her that that ship has sailed in regards to Brooke. He always loved her and all that good stuff. But she asked him, uh, does this mean it's a, it's a new woman in your life and all that? And I said, not a new woman, an old woman. I said, tell her, Deacon, tell her. I said, stand on your word. You did all that talk about you gonna t you don't care who knows and they'll come around and all this issue. I said, tell it. But then I thought about it. Um, what did I say? I think I was thinking about... Um, um, what Sheila said about he gonna ruin everything and like the fallout that will occur. But at the same time, he's still over here inviting her to the grand opening where all these people finna be. So in a way, he still, he might as well get her his up right then and there or something, or at least told her I invited Sheila. But then they will reveal that he actually been still talking to her. And it's not gonna be long before they figure out that he was the one helping her before Bill was. So I said, either way it go, unless he planning on her coming um, before everybody else or just hiding in the shadows you know she liked to wear masks and stuff i don't know how he think this gonna go over but yeah um he's planning a grand opening for his restaurant and everything wait i skipped something oh he was talking about um when she asked was it a woman in his life he was talking about his focus is his business and everything and he's planning a grand opening but I said, I hope Sheila go because I want to see how everyone reacts. I want to see if he's staying by his word. He already don't look that straight one. He's, he's tried to deny. Well, technically, he didn't say nothing, but it's a lie by omission. It's a lie by omission. But uh, <laughs> I want her to go because I want to see the look on everybody's face. You're not, you're not welcome here and all that. I want to see if he'd be like, yeah, you're not welcome here. Or if he's going to be like, no, I invited her. She's my friend. 
and everything and see what they're going to say. Because Hope was just singing his praises, but we're going to get to that part over there. We're going to get to that part. But, um, yeah, I said I hope she'll go because I want to see how everyone reacts to her being there and the connection her and Deacon sharing. It's going to be hard to deny. But um, Bill come up. Look, Bill doing what she'll do when she sneak up on people. He thinks she was still thinking of Finn, and she said she's thinking about him and Hayes. And I said, liar, liar, at this point, your pants should be on fire. Your whole body should be on fire at this point. <laughs> and, I said, and she hit that phone so fast, and I was like, it's in the phone. It's in the phone. Check your cameras. I know you got cameras. I know you. The way you be crossing folks, I know you. Look, I'm hoping. Because I said he's supposed to uh, share a secret about Sheila to to uh, Liam. Liam them or just Liam. I don't know. But I was like, what secret? Is that he going to try to help get Finn back in her life or what? Like, I don't know what the secret Look, we can't even assume nowadays because they'll say one thing and then do a complete opposite of what they see. But uh, Finn and Steffi talking about finding a way to put an end to Sheila. And hold on. Now how Deacon to go? Oh, when he was talking about, uh, when Deacon was talking about Bruton them coming. And I said, now Deacon, how are you going to invite the whole crew and Sheila? How they work? He asks Hope how she doing in regards to Douglas. He says Douglas will be back, and he's just trying to comfort her and everything about Douglas. I told y'all we weren't going to see. Look, I told y'all they, they'll focus on the, um, a storyline. Then they'll go next, by the next week or by the end of the, of the week. They'll be on the other storyline. I was like, just finish the storyline already. Uh, I told y'all we weren't gonna see we weren't gonna see Douglas no more. <laughs> we might see him this week, but I ain't seen nothing in the. Uh, I don't think I saw nothing in the spoilers. I don't know. I had to go back and check. But uh, yeah, I said, how he gonna invite the whole crew and Sheila? You do know that they trying to put this lady back in jail, and they can't stand her, right? But he said he told Sheila he ready. He don't care who knows. They'll come around. All this extra. I said you in fantasy land. These folks ain't gonna come around. You gonna lose your daughter, your grand. A uh, child and all that other stuff. Deacon is talking about, you know, everything he's accomplished. And she's basically saying, you know, she proud of him. The only thing now, they got to get him a girlfriend. I said, he got a girlfriend. He got a side. Wait, it wouldn't be a side piece. That be Deacon would be her side piece because she would be a, yeah, Deacon her side piece. That's what it is. <laughs> but um, Bill and Sheila just seem so random. I'm just looking at them. They end up kissing again. I said, this seems so random. Like, they just do somebody together and everything. <laughs> but um, Bill reminds Sheila that she can't change the path because she's talking about, studied talking about what happened and she didn't mean to do that. I said, save your soft story. Save your soft story. <laughs> but um, he's like, uh, what did I tell you? You can't change the past. But he reminds her that he going to do whatever he can to reunite Sheila with Finn. And I said, how? And I said this, I think, on Friday's review or the Thursday, I don't know, last week. But I said, I hope he ain't finna sit up here and blackmail again. Now, you already done used it for one blackmail. I was like, y'all think he'll do it again to try to make Finn have something to do with her? I think I think that's where Stephanie will put her foot down. Now, Finn might go, because Finn over here, if he threatens Finn mama or say he gonna send her to jail or something, I don't know. Maybe he won't threaten. But that's the only way I see him trying to get them back in the, uh, getting Finn in the Sheila life. It had to be Black Mill, but I don't think they would go for it that time. But, uh, what else happened? Let's see. Sheila brought up, not Sheila, Steffi brought up telling that Bill Bry of the judge. She was like, I think about, uh, what did she say, calling the police or calling somebody and saying that Bill Bry the judge and forced them not to testify. So she looked, I said, that's the only, look, I, when you think about it, that would be the way. But at the same time, I said, like I keep saying, a dumb enough fake. You're going to have to tell what the blackmail was. And once you admit it, Taylor going to be handcuffed. Listen, they got so much stuff on everybody involved. <laughs> everybody got some stuff on somebody. But nobody, everybody ain't using what they got. <laughs> but, yeah, she said she thought about it. But she can't because of her mom. And she'll do anything to protect her mom. But it's time to get Sheila out of their lives for good. And I said, Sheila ain't going to never be out of y'all lives. She always finds some type of way to be back in y'all life. But um, I'm shocked that Sheila never mentioned like mother, like daughter. Because, you know, Taylor thought that Bill had harmed Steffi. And that's what led her to shoot Bill. And Steffi thought that Sheila was in that hotel room causing harm to Eric. So she shot her. So I was like, I'm surprised she ain't brought that up and let Finn know. Finn probably wouldn't care. He'd probably be like, you know, he probably be like, um, he don't care. It don't matter. That's his wife and all this sort of stuff. You thought that was going to do something? That ain't going to do that. <laughs> but, um. 
Bill had got uh, uh, did he get a text or a call or some notification, and he said he had to go. And I said, "Yep, she was gonna pull that old tired excuse that people use when they get caught cheating. You know, when they be like, you were too busy for me, or you was always at work." Now that could be the very well be the truth, but that don't mean you go cheating and stuff. So I was like, she gonna use that. She gonna use all you was never there for me and all this stuff. So I clean to him. I wonder if they actually gonna have it a whole affair, or um, is they fun to get ready to end this storyline? Oh no, I was hoping they did do a little affair thing. Listen, I think Deacon and Sheila go together more than Sheila and Bill. Well, yeah, I thought they was gonna do um a whole look uh. Where they catch them sneaking around and stuff. But so far, no, it don't look like that. But uh, let's see. What else? Bill talking about he a fortunate man. And I said, you a foolish man. <laughs> he said he a fortunate man because he got Sheila. I said, is he playing her? I said, look, we got to assume because he been gone or whatever. But on the preview for this, you know, they showed this preview for this week's episodes. And Bill is telling Liam and Wyatt that. Um, Sheila gets him all this other stuff. That's I told y'all same retired dialogue. I said same retired, same old dialogue that they've been used. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh Lord. But um, same thing. He's supposed to be telling them she gets me and all this stuff, and you know they're supposed to be telling him how he's gonna turn his back on his family and stuff like that. But um, yeah, he talking about he a fortunate man. I say you a foolish man, and. I feel like he should know where her mind at. She always mentioned what he did for her. Oh, if it wasn't for you, you changed my life. You saved me. You kept me out of prison. You kept me out of prison. You kept me out of prison. Never. I don't know. But I just feel like he should see who she is and what she about. I still tripping off the fact that that same, what was it, the same night or the next day, she was talking about some, um, she got to get her revenge on the Foresters, but at least not for, but I can't focus on that right now, at least for not for tonight, and he still didn't get it, he still didn't get the message, he was too far gone, he could have let them know, he could have seen who she was right then and there, she talking about getting revenge, y'all remember that, talking about getting revenge on the Foresters, but she ain't gonna focus on that right now, but, uh, let's see, what else we got? Look, we got, I got one, two, two and a half pages of notes today. But, uh, where we stop it? Whole thanks, Steffi, for keeping her in the loop about Douglas because she said Douglas, uh, that Steffi texted her and let her know that Douglas was dropped off. And I said, You text Thomas too? Because that's going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, that's something else they said happened this week. They're going to be talking about Douglas again. And Steffi and Thomas going to be going back and forth. And Taylor going to try to mediate again and everything. But yeah, Hope basically was thanking her for keeping her in the loop about him. And I said, okay, what about Thomas? Because even though all this stuff had happened, wasn't they still having little meetups and stuff, hanging out? Because that was the same day that he was talking about he had paperwork drawn up, didn't he? Or was that the day before? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do this. But uh, Hope repeated the same line that she repeated um, some weeks ago, talking about how anyone can have feelings for Sheila and everything. And they show Deacon. He over there cleaning up and stuff, getting stuff together. I said, Deacon. Mm, mm, mm. But there's a knock on the door. Y'all already know who it is. Y'all already know who it is. I said, now, lady, why is you at this man's house again? I hope Bill following her or he got somebody following her or something. Because, look, they'll be better. Well, I don't know. Would y'all prefer that, that Bill saw her? over here sneaking around with Deacon and stuff? Or would y'all prefer that Steffi now find out and expose them to Bill and have Bill turn on her? But like I said, until she cre- until she commits another crime, can they really hold her, put her back in jail or whatever? But I'm, I'm sure Bill can look. If you got that kind of power, the bride folks or whatever, ain't no telling what you could do. But yeah, would she have to commit another crime or what? But yeah, um, she came in. <laughs> Sheila came in and talked about so uh what did she say? I told you. I just uh, I just told you I I'm risking everything. She don't she can't risk getting caught. I don't wanna get risk getting caught. Well, if you ain't wanna risk getting caught, ma'am, then why did she show up? You ain't have to show up just because you're talking about it's important. You could have asked if you had to take some back, which you didn't have to, you could delete this number, you could have blocked this number, you could have did all of the above. <laughs> you ain't had to come over there, uh, and all that stuff. But she talking about 
Um, no, Deacon talking about it hurt to be called a loser and everything. He asked her to come over because he don't believe any of what she said. You asked her to come over so you can invite her. And she could be like, no, I ain't coming. Did she pop up? But, uh... Yeah, he said he don't believe it. And I said, I knew he wasn't going to believe it because it wasn't believable. She was just saying that so he could stop. But Finn was talking about he... They started talking about Deacon and everything. Holt talking about Deacon about her... Oh, Lord Jesus. Holt was talking about her father, a good man. And then Finn was talking about um, they thankful for Deacon saving them. And they just singing his praises. And I said, wait till y'all find out. And Hope don't sit up here. I said, didn't nobody tell you to invite these folks? Now, regardless, it wouldn't matter because Brooke, no, Brooke and you going to be there. So if Sheila show up and you, if Deacon say he invited her, that's going to spread around like wildfire. They definitely going <laughs> to, everybody going to know. Look, Carter and them, Katie and them all going to be in the office. You know, they stay in the office talking about everything. It's still work. <laughs> it's still work. But, uh. Finn talking about being thankful for Deacon saving them. Hope talking about her father, a good man. Hope done invited Stephanie and Finn to Deacon's grand opening. They talking about Deacon love life and everything. And I said, they definitely foreshadowing the discovery. For them to talk about, one, they was talking about uh, who, could, who could love or be interested or have feelings for Sheila. Then they started talking about Deacon and Brooke or whatever. And then said, oh, no. Then she talking about some, um, Stephanie talking about some, is he involved with somebody else? And then she invites them over to the grand opening, and he don't invite Sheila to the grand opening, so they foreshadowing for sure. Deacon tells Deacon invites Sheila to the grand opening. He wants Sheila to be a part of his success. Sheila says she's happy for him, and he says uh, he need he don't just want her at the grand opening. He needs. Her. I said okay when she come to this grand opening, cause I doubt she won't come. When she come, I how about say I dare you. <laughs> I was say, I dare you. <laughs> I hope he do. I, I hope he do to shut hope up, to shock them, and they can put two and two together and realize he had been helping her this whole time. I want to see it. I, wanna, I would like to see that, actually. I want her to go, and I want them to see her come, and I want them to come all, you know they're going to come in her face. What are you doing here? Nobody wants you here. Then they can be like, actually, I invited her to see the look on their face. Look, he going to be on you know, bad terms with Brooke again because that's what he cared about at first. He went from saying he he um his focus is his daughter to oh his daughter and Brooke and everything, but yeah she says she's happy for him. He says he needs her at the grand opening, and he says I thought he was gonna say that the reason he got the restaurant is because she gave him the money. Cause at first he was saying he didn't have no money, right? I know he went to what was it Paris or wherever to get that money, but is that the money she promised him or what? Cause I don't, you know I had stopped watching it for a few weeks cause they was. Doing the same storylines and stuff. So I'm like, okay, where did he get this money from? I know he said he had to go out of town, but he also said he didn't have no money, which is why he was staying. Wasn't he staying in the closet or something like that at first? I don't know. But, yeah, he said he he's the man that he is today because of Sheila. That, uh, you know, he, all his success, the restaurant, she helped him be that way. I, I said, now, how did she help you be that way? Again, I had stopped when they started staying together and stuff. I had stopped watching, so maybe I missed something. But did she help you get that way because y'all was sleeping together or what? Cause uh, I missed that part. But yeah, she he owe all his success to her, and she helped him be a better man. And <laughs> I said, Deacon, 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 and love, Deacon and love. Like I would have preferred. Like I said, when they first came back on the scene together and everything, not together, but you know, around the same time. I, well, I was like, might as well put them together. But nope, they did not. Now they got her with Bill, which the, it looks so odd and random. Like I said, I think that Deacon and her will be better together. But yeah, I don't know how long this going to last. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought of this episode. And do y'all think that Bill is going to be following her? Or do y'all think Stephanie is going to be the one to find out? And when they had this grand opening, I wonder if the grand opening going to happen this week or next week. When they had this grand opening... Do y'all think that um, Deacon is going to stand by Sheila and say he invited her? Or do y'all think he, he going to be like, yeah, you had to go or whatever? Because uh, if he do if he do say that, do y'all think Sheila going to be mad? Because she said she wasn't going to let nobody know about his involvement. But if he publicly rejects her, do you think that she would let everybody know that they were sleeping together and that's where he she was hiding or what? 
But y'all let me know what y'all thought of this episode down below. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As well as, um, I already said comment, but join the conversation down below. Until next time, deuces.